Hey everyone, welcome back to Endless Money Pits. This is my 2000 BMW 328i, and today we'll be trying to figure out how often the oil should really be changed. For E46 models with gasoline engines, BMW recommends changing the oil every 15,000 miles. I think most mechanics would agree this is too long to go between oil changes, but there's no real consensus on how often it should be done. As my car approaches the 300,000 mile mark, I've been thinking more and more about the importance of oil quality for keeping the engine running as long as possible. I bought this car in 2007 with 82,000 miles on it, and I visit the red line almost every day, so I'm really curious about the current condition of this engine. To get some insight, I had three oil samples analyzed over the last year at different oil change intervals. Hopefully, we can use the results to end this debate once and for all. If you don't know how to change the oil on your BMW, I've already made a video on that, so I'll put a link to it in the description. The oil samples were taken at approximately 5100, 7500, and 10,000 mile intervals, and were analyzed by Blackstone Laboratories in Fort Wayne, Indiana. The oil sample kits are free, but you will be charged $30 for each sample sent in for analysis. Just for reference, I used MAN oil filters and Castrol 5W30 full synthetic oil for all of these samples. The analysis reports are pretty detailed, so let's jump right in. For the first sample, I waited longer than usual to change the oil so we could find out what the condition of the oil is like after 10,000 miles of driving. The car's mileage was approximately 262,600 miles. I felt like 10,000 miles was pushing it, and the results confirmed my suspicions. I'll include all of the sample results at the end of this video, but the comments from Blackstone are as follows. David, you should change the oil more often. M52 averages are based on 5,700 miles on the oil. By comparison, this engine made more metal, and to some extent, that's from the longer oil run. But iron and lead are higher than expected. Maybe they're normal, or maybe they show wear at the shaft bearing interface. The thick viscosity may indicate this oil has been exposed to heat. This is a very common oil for BMWs, but feel free to experiment if you'd like. We don't find big wear differences based on brand. If good oil pressure and no knocking, resample in 5,000 miles. So I took their advice and sent in another sample after about 5,100 miles. This time, the results were much better. Here are the comments from Blackstone. David, wire metals dropped nicely in this second sample from your 328i. The shorter oil run has a lot to do with that, but wear has improved on a per mile basis as well. The engine only made about half as much iron and copper per mile as it did last time, so maybe the high metals weren't simply caused by the long oil run. No moisture, dirt, or fuel was present, and the viscosity is correct for 5W30 oil. Insolubles are fine at 0.2%, just like last time, so it looks like the filter should be okay for more use. Try up to 7,500 miles on the next oil, and check back to monitor. That sounded pretty good to me, so I went ahead and sent in a third oil sample after driving another 7,500 miles, and taking their advice, I did not change the oil filter after the 5,100 mile oil change. So even though this third oil sample was run for about 7,500 miles, the filter it ran through had been used for about 12,600 miles. When I was packing up the sample, I included a note letting them know that I've redlined the engine almost every day since I bought the car 14 years ago, and that I'm trying to figure out the perfect oil change interval. To my surprise, this sample had the best results. Here are the comments. David, we're impressed with how well your M52 is wearing as it approaches the big 300,000 mile mark. You noted frequently redlining the motor, and you're running long oil change intervals too, which makes the low metal readings all the more impressive. These results would be great even for an engine that didn't see any sort of harder use, so your 2.8 doesn't seem to mind the occasional spirited driving you do. Based on this healthy set of results, we see no reason not to try another 9 to 10,000 mile interval again if you want. No contamination turned up in this data. Obviously, this was great news to receive. I've organized the data from Blackstone into my own spreadsheet, so we can take a look at the analysis results side by side. First, let's take a look at the trace elements found in the oil. The 10,000 mile sample is the only one that showed any elements out of their acceptable ranges. Iron and lead are likely caused by engine wear due to the extended oil change interval. Molybdenum, in this case, is a lubricant additive that has almost completely disappeared compared to the other two samples. From what I've read, calcium in the sample should be from detergents or corrosion inhibitors, but I'm not sure what would cause an increase in calcium. If you can explain this, please leave a comment below. 
Magnesium is also commonly found in detergents and corrosion inhibitors, and very little of it remains in this sample after 10,000 miles. Looking at the oil properties again, the 10,000 mile sample was the only one that fell out of spec. Both measurements of viscosity showed an increase, and the flashpoint had also noticeably decreased in the 10,000 mile sample. Overall, it looks like there isn't really a significant difference between the samples done at 5,000 miles and 7,500 miles, but the 10,000 mile sample shows extreme signs of deterioration in some categories. So, what do you think? Should I send in a fourth sample? And at what mileage? That concludes this week's video. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe and let me know what you thought of this experiment in the comments. Until next time, just keep throwing money at it. How do you pronounce that? How do you pronounce molybdenum? That's pronounced molybdenum. Molybdenum. <sighs> molybdenum, in this case, is a 